Jim Anderson here, I'm Tech uh, Director of Vessels at Seamal and today we're at the, the Ferguson Marine Shipyard because we've uh, hit an important milestone in the project where we're now at 50% fabrication which you can see from, from over here. Uh, the two vessels here have a total contract value of 97 million and they're using the latest in dual fuel engine technology. Uh, the ships will be able to operate on two fuels. One is LNG and also conventional diesel fuel. And, and with this technology on, on board the vessel, we will be looking at reducing our greenhouse gas emissions by 20 to 25 percent. Well, the the, um, the contract that you see here for the two uh, the two ferries that we're building absolutely essential at this part of the yard's development economically because you know we've got a lot of uh, infrastructure improvements going on here um, without the business that that we've got from uh, Seamal and Calmac um, we wouldn't we'd have to be we'd be out a lot of of. Uh, money and it would be economically not viable to do this. Hi, Richard Hudfield from the Ferries Unit in Transport Scotland here at Ferguson Shipyard. Uh, down today with uh, Humza Yusuf, the Minister, to see progress on the two new vessels that are being built here for Caledonian Maritime Assets Limited, uh, ultimately to be deployed by Calmac Ferries Limited uh, on the Clyde and in services to the Outer Hebrides. Uh, two quite big ships by Calmac standards. They'll be carrying up to a thousand passengers, over a hundred cars or 16 uh, HGVs, providing vital lifeline services through the contracts that uh, Calmac have with Transport Scotland. Transport Scotland's involvement in this project has been really from the beginning Although CMAL and CalMAC do the detailed design, uh, we provide the funding, so obviously we're keen to see uh, what we're getting for our money and supporting the Minister here today.